With Boeing soon delivering the first of their new 777X series, how does the 777 compare to Boeing's newest clean sheet design already in production, the 787 Dreamliner? Stay tuned to see the 787-10 and the 777-8X go head to head. Before I dive into comparing these two Boeing wide bodies, please consider subscribing to my channel. Over 90% of you aren't subscribed and all you have to do is hit that red button below. You can expect more authentic and exciting aviation content weekly. To compare these two airplanes, we will go through a couple categories. Our first category will be to compare the aircraft's capacity and range. The 787-10 is typically seated with up to 330 passengers in a typical two-class layout. You can take these passengers up to 11,750 kilometers. The 787-10 has the least amount of range compared to its smallest brothers, the 787-9 and the 787-8. The 777-8 can carry 384 passengers in a typical layout for an astounding 16,170 kilometers. The 777-8 can carry more passengers, much farther. But is there an expense to these impressive numbers? Let's dive into these aircraft's efficiency. The 787-10 will burn around 20 pounds of fuel per mile, depending of course on the load and the distance. The 777-8 does not have a lot of data online regarding its fuel burn, but its bigger brother, the 777-9, is expected to burn about 55 gallons per mile. We can safely assume that the 777-8 will burn less than the larger variant. So, we can reasonably estimate something in the region above what the 787-10 burns, but below what the 777-9 burns. The 787-10 is definitely more efficient than the 777-8. This will lead to a lower operating cost and a lower fuel burn per seat overall. Also, the list price of the 777-8 is much greater at 410 million US dollars before discounts compared to the 787's list price of under 325 million. But what about their cabins? Which plane offers a nicer and more spacious cabin? Well, both planes offer Boeing's new sky interior with newer wide windows, mood lighting, and better air. But what about seats? Well, the 787-10's layout is typically a free 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 layout, an economy with 17 and a half inch wide seats. Airlines can of course change the layout and width by adding or taking out seats. The 777-8 will most likely sport a 10 abreast seating configuration. Most probably, airlines will use a free for free configuration. Now, the new 777s will have wider seats than the older generation 777s because the cabin is wider. So, the 777-8 will have a better economy cabin. But, is the 787's cabin better or the 777? Well, the 777-8 is supposed to have 18 inch wide seats in a 10 abreast configuration. All airlines may not opt for this, but at this time, this is the most likely option. If this is true, you would have a wider seat in a 777 and maybe a slightly better experience overall. But will you ever be able to fly on a 777-8 anyway? Well, let's see by diving into the aircraft's orders. The 787-10 has received 203 orders with 58 already having been delivered. The 777-8 is not yet in production, but has still racked up some orders from different airlines. The 777-8 has fewer orders than the bigger 777X variant, the 777-9. It has a total of 50 free orders. Some speculate that some of these may be cancelled. Some can even speculate the whole 777-8 program may be cancelled. But Boeing still seems committed to the aircraft's development. Which aircraft do you like better? Would you like to fly on the 777-8? Let me know down below in the comments. So, who wins this comparison? Well, the 787-10 has better efficiency and operating economics, but we have to remember the 777-8 has better range, better capacity, and a slightly better cabin. Most airlines do seem to prefer the 787-10 over the 777-8. So, the 787-10 does seem the better aircraft for most airlines, but the superior range and capacity could definitely swing over some airlines that need the extra seats and the range to fly more routes with the 777-8. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to stay around and subscribe for more videos like this coming right up. Also, a like would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next.